So this is hilarious. I'm doing research now on uh, the origin of the name Robin Hood, having solved Robin Hood flower, and it was like uh, very epic. This is too fun now. Who does Robin Hood get married to? Maid Marian. Okay. Um, Maid Marian. Um, so look at this. Robin Hood is father, and then Maid Marian is uh, flawless in its design for Jesus. That's the and that, that's the analogy here, letter for letter. Okay. Jesus is pure plus ones and letters and divide by three and with a single plus two, just like in Maid Marian, we solved Robin Hood for father the other day. Robin equals father and Hood is pure threes. So uh, Robin Hood plus Maid Marian um, is a gorgeous three fest. Um, <laughs> that's hilariously obvious. It's a father Christ combo. And we did, follow, we did Robin Hood plus Little John in the previous video and that was like awesome as well. Um, Okay. Wow. <laughs> Robin Hood. A jest of Robin Hood. Even spelled like that, it's plus one. Wow, so the first mention of Robin Hood is like 13th, 14th century. I just wanted to get more amazing. He is a yeoman? What is that? All I know is it's plus one and it's flawless, letters and strokes per what is that for fault? Oh. What is a yeoman? A member of a social class was an attendant in a noble household. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, everyone wants a piece of Robin Hood. Like, it, like, look at how long this Wikipedia page is for Robin Hood. Because we solved Robin Hood flower for the father today, and that's why I was just digging into the depths of all this. Richard the Lionheart is a gorgeous plus one. But see, he's marrying Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Okay. Very, very obvious. So Richard, just like Robin, is plus one for father. In fact, Richard is three points higher than father. Robin equals father. Richard, in this, in this plaque, is marrying Robin Hood with Maid Marian. <laughs> Too cool. So, but look at how much content, look at how much text, like this Wikipedia, like everyone wants a piece of Robin Hood. And God has been sovereign over this entire, like, like look at all the, look at how much writing has been done and references that everyone wants a piece of the word Robin Hood. Like, just like everyone wants to know how this story came to be. It's like, why is there so much Robin Hood? A blue plaque? Oh, let's solve every blue plaque, because that's very famous from Britain. Well, blue plaque um, is very perfect for father. You knew that was coming. Okay. Um, in fact, blue plaque equals holy father. Father plus 60. Good night. Um, good night. Blue plaque equals Holy Father, and that's history commemorated um, in the English language all over the world, is, is blue plaques. That's amazing. So glaring. Oh my. And I'm noticing, this is going to shock your pants off. Look at, now put the word Father on top of blue plaque, and notice what I see already is that the dead center of both words is identical. The famous PL, and I've seen this many times, that PL is at the center of something that parallels Father, because PL equals TH at the center of Father um, and uh, 28, and the letters go up in four, in order. H plus four is, is L, plus four is P, plus four is T. 
in a perfect circle. So TH equals PL, and that's the dead center of father, the name above all names, and the dead center of blue plaque. Like, history is, commemor is commemorated in the English language all over the world on these blue plaques. Like in the British Empire, that's the UK has a majority of them. So here's one for Robin Hood. Wow. And even the ancient spelling, Robin Hood. <laughs> it's Robin Hood I want. <laughs> Robin Hood is parallel for father, just like Robin Hood. I'm, I'm just like, it's, it's another one-two punch combo. Like, God has his ways of backing up his Robin Hood. So Robin Hood equals 100 plus 42 from father. Okay. Offset of three. And this is 106. That's killer. That's perfect. Because an offset of six from, whole, from father, which is 58, this is plus 42 from father, and this is plus 48. An offset of six from father is king. And that's what both of these are, differing by six. Like, it's just obvious how father takes the glory for Robin Hood, also known more anciently as Robin Hood. <laughs> it's Robin Hood I want. Have you not heard the tale of Robin Hood? Okay. Um, that is glaring. And look at, and so look at what happens in Robin Hood. The number of, it's Robin Hood. The number of uh, plus twos is two greater than the number of plus ones, just like in Father. And the rest of the letters all divided by three. And that is identical in Robin Hood, because now you have three plus twos and a single plus one, and this became a letter divided by three, and, and so all the rest of the letters divided by three. So whether you say, whether you say or spell Robin Hood or Robin Hood, <laughs> both are mathematically flawless in their design for father. Wow, while the Trinity is maximally glorified in the offsets of three, said the tale. So that's, so obviously God likes Robin Hood a lot. Um, and, uh, of course, it's a noble analogy of uh, someone who takes care of the poor. And there's no one who takes care of the poor more than God. Okay, so clear, clear uh, gem for the glory of the Father, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Um, okay, so a blue plaque. What's the story behind blue plaques? A blue plaque is a permanent sign installed in a public place in the United Kingdom commemorate a link between that location and a famous person or event is serving as a historical marker. Oh my gosh, it was the brainchild of William. So many Williams for father. William is gorgeous plus one for father. Even his last name is flawless for father. In fact, it equals water. Well, that was divine that he was the originator of that. It is the oldest such scheme in the world, the blue plaque. <whistles> well, there you go. Um... Wow. Amazing. So there you go. Well, let's keep going on some of those letters. Yeah, there it is. Um, so let's uh, just, just do a little more beauty, beautiful justice on uh, said blue plaque letters and how that was just screaming out father and it's designed those letters. Oh my gosh. And then the AE flanking father equals the EA flanking Wow! So we have perfect equivalence in the center of Father, just like Blue Pack. That's a miracle. And then, um, you must, to make a multiple of three with the final three letters that don't divide by three, you must combine these. So in order to achieve symmetry, I'm going to grab the U. He's a wild card. He divides by three. He can join that team. So now you have 1925. So now you have 45 from these letters in green. And then, the, the final letters that divide by three um, make 33 to, uh, you, can, you can paint this team, why not paint this team green, okay? Um, obviously you could cluster, you could put, you can put the L and the U on any team you want. You can put them on team green, they could join any color team you want. They can be a bonus team, which is what I'll just sort of highlight for lack of better highlighting in Word. There is what you have a flawless, um, perfectly symmetrical painting of how God the Father um, owns every blue plaque in the United Kingdom, which of course commemorates history, which is his story. So, 
a, a massive find, a massive proof and uh, uh, detail there. And so all together, father, uh, blue plaque equals holy father. King offset 60 points higher. Um, and per adventure, you can, uh, I'm sure you can find those components, holy and uh, father, without too, too much work. Um, yeah, uh, you'll just have to spend a little time doing that. Um, 42, I'm already seeing it very close. I feel very close to it. Two U's is 42, and then you need another 18. Um, yeah, there's one way of doing it. A U plus a U plus an EA um, plus a final L equals holy, and then the rest equals father. But there's the flawless painting of it on top. The most glaring thing was that the PL equals the TH in the center, flanked by the EA and the AE, and then the rest on the outside of that was just pure threes. Um, what were these? And then what's, what's glaring to me is because the F and the R are six and triple six respectively, this, this cluster, the, the full cluster, like if we just do a simple painting like this, like technically, it's like slice down the middle equal, next two letters equal, and then oh, take the rest of the cake on the left and the rest of the cake on the right, make a final team out of that. Um, then uh, team green obviously divides by six, just like the F and the R in father. In fact, it's 78, so um, it's very glaring, okay, how God the Father um, takes the glory for every blue plaque um, in the world, which is... Um, in the United Kingdom, it's um, the ordained way by which they commemorate historic events all over the place. Since the year 1863, that began. The oldest, since 1863, the oldest such scheme in the world. And then there's something in other countries. No less it was established by the Society of Arts. Well, what's special about that? Well, because arts equals father. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Arts equals father. Father gets the last word and all this in front divides by three. So society of arts. Put the word the in front and you get sixes offset from father. But father gets the last word. It is the oldest such, and then heritage is also a plus one. It is the oldest such scheme in the world. Wow, even Ashworth equals blue, pa blue plaque. And they put up 12 new blue plaques each year. Wow. So for example, there's one for Charles Dickens. And I mean, they've got a ton of examples. Cool. Wow. 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 Lots of blue plaques. Solve for the father. Wow. Wow. Now in other countries there are some similar things. Now there's here's a New York State blue plaque. Um, I'm curious. Oh yeah, Mark. Interesting. Historical markers. Yeah, plural. Okay. And there's tons of these blue plaques in the UK. Cool. Well, that was, that was satisfying to solve that. Was there anything else that we... Um, oh, yeah, we were just marveling at the sheer volume of content in Robin Hood. So is there anything else? That was cool. That was a big gem, the blue plaque there. Um, and then I was kind of interested in the history of root beer. And we, we did a good job. And I feel, I feel comfortable with that. I'm fine there. 
Okay, I think it's been pretty good for today. That was awesome, solving the blue plaque. That was huge. And we, we got some great details on Robin Hood, um, namely the two spellings of the name. For the glory of the Father. So Robin Hood. <laughs> Sherwood Forest. Even Sherwood Forest. Forest is flawless for father. Nottingham side. Nottingham. That's very interesting. And he is heroic. So the word hero belongs to father, just like heroic. In fact, heroic equals father. So let's finish with that. So Robin equals father, and he is heroic. That's basically what defines him. He is heroic. Well, so clearly, who, who is the most heroic of all? Well, God the Father. Done. If you need help, ask the Father. So heroic equals Father equals Robin. There. Um, according to legend, was a highly skilled archer and swordsman. Typically dressed in Lincoln green. So there's a lot of simple words that you can scoop up here for Father. Okay. Lincoln is plus one for father, and green is plus one for father. He's often portrayed as robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. And the last word, poor, is plus one for father, okay? And the poor completes it nicely. Rob the rich to feed the poor. And you read the Bible, and God is all about caring for the poor. He's the father of the fatherless. Um, oh, yeah, Robin Hood's merry men. Well, the word Mary, I know, is father, and then man will be a plus two, so. And <laughs> the, I marvel at how the key, the most memorable parts of the story, like Nottingham. Like Nottingham, you'll find a statue of him in Nottingham. And then Sherwood Forest is also, <laughs> this is where Robin Hood lives. You know, our father who art in heaven. The word father parallels heaven, earth, and sea, but this is so cool how Nottingham parallels father. Again, it's a pretty simple formula. The number of plus twos outdoes the number of plus ones by exactly two in count, just like father. And then there's two letters that divide by three. Disturbingly, the two letters that divide by three in Nottingham equal the two letters that divide by three in Father. And we've seen this in countless strings all over the place in all this. Then you have an A as one of the plus ones in gold. Um, and then you have the three plus twos in there. So what is Nottingham compared to Father? It's Father plus um, 63. And Sherwood Forest, sure enough. So highlight your plus twos, kids. Sherwood Forest has five plus twos just like Nottingham. And then it also has three plus ones, just like Nottingham. And then the rest of the letters all divide by three. Okay, and that, in fact, is an even number of them, six. Just like in Father and Nottingham. So Sherwood Forest is really large for Father, it's 190. Father plus um, uh, one, three, two. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Robin Hood, Father. Where does he live? Sherwood Forest. Where will you actually find a statue of him in the real world? Well, there it is. It's in Nottingham. You'll, you, there it is. You'll go and see Robin Hood in Nottingham. <laughs> and there he is, to the glory of the Father, as a metaphor for a hero on behalf of the poor. There you go. <laughs> What's he holding? A bow. Oh, bow parallels Father. And you know, what's, what's that on the top of his head? Oh, feathers. And, okay. And he's got a sword, plus one for father. A sword and a bow, plus one, plus one, father. Okay. He's also wearing an outfit, plus one, father. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And the arrow has feathers. Not one feather, but many feathers. And... Cool. All right. Enough said. That's fun stuff. 
And then what was funny to me is how he knits together perfectly with little John and Maid Marian, you know, to, to have all these uh, Jesus uh, father combos. And then Richard the Lionheart, who is above the whole story, is clearly father. So you're just like, okay, God uses metaphor, just like Jesus told parables, in order to glorify the father. Okay. Uh, did you ever marvel at that? At how Jesus told stories that contain characters that didn't technically exist in real life, but they were all like, you know, he, he spoke in parables that they were metaphors. And that's what I see here in Robin Hood. It's very, very clear. Okay. Um. <laughs> Everyone, Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. <laughs> okay. Nottingham Sire. Okay, I think we've, um, I'm fine with that. Like, you know there's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of Robin Hood and pop popular culture. And, and uh, now you just want to, like, see, like, this is funny. Like, Robin Hood knits to get, like, Friar Tuck is plus two. Christ in its design. Little John, uh, also Christ in its design. Will Scarlet, I have no idea who that is. That's also plus two. Um, Aladdin three. Maid Marian is plus two. Flawless. The letters are flawless for Jesus. Now Richard is plus one. He's a father figure. Oh yeah, Prince John. <laughs> oh boy, that's interesting. Prince John gets the the sheriff of Nottingham. Wow, that's. That's crazy. The Sheriff of Nottingham, I can't believe my eyes, he gives two equal teams of hopscotch effect that are one, two, three, and one, two, three. That's like crazy. Oh boy. All right, let's leave it at Robin Hood. That's, that's enough for me. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Um, okay, anything else we want to wrap up with here? Enough of that. Okay, that was awesome. I solved the flower brand, like the actual flower. Okay, that's, I think that's good enough for me. Good stuff.